Stepper from Time is Joe by Deborah. Bonus video again. I think this is another designer. It's got a green label. Man, this is really heavy but super thin. So it looks like I received this on 7 1 of 2023. So let me go ahead and get that open. Give you guys first looks. I hope everyone is doing well. So I ordered this box. Um, yep, yeah, designer box, June 26 of 2023. All right, feels like there's a big bag or something under there. All right, I'm trying to save the paper, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. All right, well, here's first looks. So you don't see much because there's that big old bag. Please be great. Please be great. All right. So we have got a very heavy bag. Um, it's like in a rose gold metal. The bottoms look great. The handles are super thin for the weightness on this, but all right, let's see. Is there a name brand? Um, I don't know. Let's see. There is an insert here. Let's see if there's a name on this. I don't see one. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, there's... Oh! What does that say? Oh, I can't read that. Oh, yeah, I cannot read that. Oh! Alexander Wang. I believe that's what it says. I got an Alexander Wang tote black. I believe it's leather. I'll definitely do some investigating, get you guys some pictures, show you up close. But great. I've never received a purse from Alexander Wang. All right. We've got a sweater. KF Kaufman Franco. It is a sweater. So, all right. Hopefully there's no holes or anything. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh, this is so great. Let me see if I can. It's got the slit in the shoulder. Or, no, that's the. Oh, okay. This is like a pullover. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It's one long sleeve, one short sleeve. Wasn't that a thing? I don't know. I'm old. What do I know? So it's a size extra large. So it looks like it's in good condition. Um, so I will try to do some research, get you guys some information. All right, next up, Carolina Herrera. I have gotten her items before, size 14. That is a great size. And it is a skirt. That is really pretty. It's a plaid. It looks like it's in good condition. It's yeah, size 14. Let's see if that zipper works. Zipper works. So great. All right. It looks like it has a faux pocket. But great. I am loving this box already. We can stop there. All right. Next up, Halston Heritage. It is an off-white dress, short sleeve. Wow. Not short sleeve, but I can never remember the name of this. Um, it is looking good in the back. Let me check the front. I do not see any stains, but I will definitely look at that closer. Let's see if the zipper works. Zipper works. It is a uh, three-quarter zipper. It is a size eight. So Halston Heritage looks pretty good. All right, three pairs of shoes. Let's go with the corks. Wedges Prada. Here's the bottom. They are a size, not sure, they're pretty small. Take a look, see if I can find the size. I don't see the size offhand, but that looks like it's in pretty good condition. This suede needs some cleaning. It's a little black there. Let's check the other one. The other shoe looks great. The cork's in great condition. A lot of times I get them and they're gouged. So, looks good. These are pretty small. Um, so, yeah. 
I will try to size them against shoes that I already have in the house that I know of, um, but this is pretty tiny. So I might be able to read that. Uh, it might say 35 on there. I'm not sure. I'll definitely look at that and let you guys know. Patent leather. I love this color. Look at this. They are a teal. Um, there's some little bit of, I'm not sure what that is right there. Some kind of a feeling on it. Um, it's raised. The bottoms don't look too bad. The heel looks pretty good. It definitely needs some color work there. Louboutin. These are a size... Um, boy. They are... Let's see. I cannot read that. 39, it looks like. X. So let's check out the other one. This one is... Oh, there's the problem right there. There's a chunk out. Um, the foot bed's kind of nasty, but that's pretty easy to clean. Uh, so yeah, you've got some chunks out on here. Um, these I would definitely not send to the real real. Um, I would probably sell them as is because there's not much I can do for these. But because um, I know there's some people out there that love to work on these. So Louboutin. All right, and then the disco shoes. These are Stuart Weitzman. These should not be in here. <laughs> These are a size, don't know, there is some work that's going to have to be done to scrub that off. It looks like there's a sticker marking. Uh, Stuart Weitzman, pre-nudist Stuart Weitzman, archive platinum strappy sandal noir. So it looks like the strap's pretty good. Let's check the other one. The heel looks great. Alright, they're from Italy. Definitely don't see a size on these, so I will definitely have to measure it against some other ones. But those are cute. But I have mixed feelings of Stuart Weitzman if he should be included. Okay, I thought maybe that this was a tear, but it looks like it's supposed to be there. There's a little hole, but this one has it as well. So, um, yeah. So they're not in bad condition. I just don't know if they belong in the designer box. So we got Stuart Weitzman. La Louboutin. The Prada. Let me go ahead and move that. We got the Halston Heritage Cream Off-White Dress. We got the, really, I love this, Carolina Herrera um, Skirt. We got the, I believe, this one is KF Kaufman Franco sweater. One long sleeve, one short. Whatever floats your boat, right? And then that purse. And I believe it does say Alexander Wang. I would look with my phone, but my phone is right there. So what I'll do is get you guys some more information, pop it up there. Um, it is imprinted. Yeah, it is Alexander Wang. So, I love this bag. I don't know. I'm going to have to research it. It's beautiful. So, I don't know what the prices are on that. There's a little bit of scratching here, but who cares, right? It's on the bottom. Um, just on the corners there. But, uh, great. So, yeah, a great box. All right, you guys. So, I'll get you some more information. I'll either pop it up in the screen or I will add pictures at the end with more information. Um, so, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you guys real soon. As always, be well. Take care of each other. Bye, you guys. Okay, so we are going to take a closer look at this designer box. And yes, I think this was a pretty great box uh, to end 2023. So the first piece we pulled out was this stunning, stunning Alexander Wang pebbled leather purse. Oh my goodness, this is lovely, lovely. So the handles are pretty thin for the weightiness of this, but it is Alexander Wang. It does have its little insert. The inside is good right there. 
I know it's hard to see with that being dark. Let's see if I pull this light if you guys can see that. Now, that's not going to work, but it is in good condition. Just needs a little vacuuming out. It is an Alexander Wang, and it was so hard for me to see the um, information on this bag. It is imprinted right there. Can you guys see that right there? It was so difficult to see in the lighting, but it is gorgeous. So we have rose gold on the bottom. Here is the metal. There's a little bit of scratching, but considering the other bags I have seen like this online, the real, real Poshmark, eBay. Um, I think in Yogi's Closet I saw it as well. I'm not positive. Um, this one is in fantastic condition. So it measures in at 12.75 by 11 and a half, and it goes by six. So it has seven inch drop on the strap. This is the Prisma. Um, the comps are crazy for this. So this is actually a very good resale value. I can go ahead and do this Alexander Wang for 160. Ugh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. The second piece we pulled out was the Halston Heritage. It is, I would say, an off-white um, dress. You can see there, I love the cutouts. Um, it looks like it's in good condition. I don't see any flaws on it. Um, it could probably use a little dry clean. Yeah, there's just some fuzzies on it, but those can come right off. And that's a fuzzy there. So it's great. Um, there's one tiny little little black mark on it on the back, but otherwise it's a fantastic condition. It is a size eight. The zippers all work on this. Um, it's a size eight. We can go ahead and do 50 on this and it is the Halston Heritage Dress. Okay, that in its back. I love this skirt. I think it's just classic. I would call it a orange and brown and gray. Carolina Herrera um, skirt. There you got your slit. It looks like it's in great condition. The zipper works on this. It is a size 14. And let me see the material on this. I know there's a tag. I saw it in my travels here. It is, hmm, maybe it wasn't this piece I saw the tag on. That might be why it was put in this box. It doesn't, I don't see a tag for materials but it is phenomenal. Just looking inside, you never know. Um, so no material tags, but it is gorgeous. So this is a size um, 14 and Carolina Herrera, New York. We can do it for 65. All right. Then we got a new to me brand, KF Kaufman Franco uh, collection extra large. There is that. So it is a black sweater. Um, there is one tiny hole right in the chest area. Let's see if I can pull this up for you. It's right there. So maybe a couple stitches and it should still be wearable. Um, the back looks great. I don't know if it's supposed to be this color black. It's um, it's either been washed a lot or it's supposed to be um, more washed out kind of black. Okay, um, long sleeve on that side, short sleeve on that side. So for this sweater, since it has that hole that needs to be repaired, we can do 20. Okay, shoes. Stuart Weitzman does not belong in this box. <laughs> these are really pretty though. They are glitter. I love these shoes. Um, you can see here that the name is pretty much off but, and there's wear here, but that's to be expected. The heels look pretty good. Um, the strap is intact here and these were a size 
These are a size nine, I believe. Let me see if I found that. Yes, these are a size nine. They're the platinum strappy. Um, that's that shoe. Here's the other one. So they're in good condition. Uh, Stuart Weitzman. I know Stuart Weitzman sells on the real real, but um, I would rather give you guys the opportunity to um, get these. So I would do these for, let's do these for 20. If I were to list them on eBay, I'd probably do 50 with best offer. Okay. Then we got a pair of Prada. So we've got the cork wedge and these are in surprisingly good condition. Here's the bottom. There you go. You can see a little bit of the heel drag. Uh, the cork's in fantastic condition. Usually when I get these shoes, the uh, cork is not in great condition. The suede, I cleaned it up the best I could. It could definitely use a little bit more of a cleanup. So these are Prada Milano. That's that shoe. And here's the other one. And the size on these are, let's see, these are a size 37. So they're in a really nice condition. Um, for you guys, we can go ahead and do these. Let's do these for 50. Okay. The last pair is the Louboutins in that beautiful teal. Um, structurally, the shoe is in good condition. Um, only problem is that this needs, the tap needs to be tap. I think it's, yeah, the heel tap needs to be um, replaced. Easy fix. You can send that into a cobbler. The bottoms look surprisingly good. So this one didn't have any issues except for right there. Can you guys see that? Right there. There is some puckering uh, loss. And the heel is a little darker than the teal here. And there is a little scuff. And then on this shoe, it's starting to get a little bit right there. Um, but from far away, they sure don't look bad at all. Here's the bottom on that. So again, this would need to be replaced. A little mark there. Um, so for these uh, size 39 and a half Louboutins, I would probably ask 110 on eBay. But for you guys, I will do, I'll do 65. So if you guys are interested in any of these items, email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com. There will be that green screen right after this video um, if you'd like to order it. So I want to say thank you so much to all of you for a fantastic 2023. We have grown leaps and bounds. It is all due to you guys, and I am so thankful for you every day. So you guys have a fantastic year and I will see you in 2024. Thanks guys. I will talk to you real soon. Bye. Have a good one. And as always, tell someone you love them.